All right, guys, today we're going to be changing gears on my Atlas lathe to go to a fine feed, but uh, it's going to be quite an adventure. So let's have a look. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, so uh, we're getting ready to do some boring work here, but uh, the last thing I had this set up for was uh, threading. Uh, I think it's uh, 18 threads per inch, this particular configuration, but let's uh, slip this banjo off of here and See if we can't set it up to do a, a fine feed. So this thing takes, uh, it's kind of funny, it takes 11 16 wrench for pretty much everything. I suppose that's so that, uh, you know, you always, you always can afford to have one laying around here on the, on your, on your table. Now I believe that I can just slip this thing right off of here. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe I gotta take that off first. Let's put that back in a mesh. I think I gotta take the screw. Let's see. Find everything, get it locked up just right. There we go. I suppose it's probably a good idea. Just loosen all these here. I think I'm gonna have to change that one too. All right, now all the screws are at least broke loose. And it's probably easier to do all this work on the bench, so. Get that loose. It's also a good opportunity to get in here and kind of clean everything up. Uh, come on over there. I have to pardon my washer here. It's got stage fright. Well, I figured out what my problem was. There's a there's a woodruff key right here. Well, let's slip that guy out of there. We'll lose that. Now that thing should come off of there. Hey, look at how easy that is, huh? If you know what you're doing. All right, off to the bench. All right, so I'm gonna just strip these gears off of here. Never hurts to kind of inspect this stuff every once in a while. And these gears, you know, they're, they got some wear and tear on them. There was no getting around that. And I don't think we're gonna probably gonna need all these. And these things are, these little bushings, I bet they're really expensive. <laughs> I'm not really sure if a guy could make one of these in, in the in the shop very easily. I mean, I'm sure if anything's possible. But, uh, you know, it's it's a bushing, but it's got keys on the outside of it. So that's a, that's a kind of a toughie. I don't know. Well, I suppose the horizontal mill, if I had a, you know, a radius cutter, although it would have to be purpose built to relieve you know you'd have to mill one side flip it over and mill the other side and leave the key like spot on so that would be a, a really expensive tool anyway slide these guys off and uh, I'm gonna kind of clean up all this stuff and then I'm gonna get all the gears that I'm gonna need to set this up so we'll be right back all 
All right, well, I just discovered a problem here. Um, sometimes you'll need to have, uh, you know, three positions, you know, three of these studs, you know, these little hardened bushings, adapter, washer, and nut. Well, this is the size that my lathe uses. And this is, I believe, for the 10-inch lathes or, uh, you know, really older ones had thinner gears. I know there's some gears that are different thicknesses, but this one's, this is not right. So I've got that little thing and I got the screw. I've got the whole setup here, really. The washer and the nut, but that won't work. So I was going to set it up with the finest feed, but I can't do that. So I'm going to have to go to something different. So anyway, in light of that, let's, uh, let's have a look and see what I can put together here. All right, so this one here we'll need to have, uh, let's see, I believe this is the A and this is the B position. Those bushings on there. And let me check my chart. I'm going to need, and this will give me uh, three and a half thousandths per rev. So I'm gonna need a 64 tooth, a 20 tooth on one. There's a 20 tooth. Sorry, here's a 20 tooth, and this is a, is that not the right gear? Yep, that's a 64 tooth. And those go together like this, and these bushings are sometimes kind of a pain to put together. There we go. Everything's so close fit. That doesn't even want to go all the way through. And get you over here where you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. All right, so I got that little burr cleaned out of there. Let's see how that goes in there. Oh yeah, see, drops right in. Okay, and the 64 goes into the B position with it on the back, so the closest to the banjo there. Like that. Put a little nut and washer on here. I don't want to tighten it down. We'll have to adjust that once we get it onto the machine. And the next one is a 20 to the back and a 56 to the front. And here is there's a 56. I'll put this guy in there. Sometimes these things like to go in from one direction more than the other. Yeah, see. 56. Here's my other 20. All right. This goes on to this direction. Correct. 20 to the back, 56 to the front, so that means they're going to mesh like that. All right. I'll put this on here. And then the idler gear that's on the lathe, which I think you just flip it over, it's 64. All the feeds use that, uh, excuse me, that's the screw gear. Uh, that's on the lead screw, that'll be a 64. The one that's on the uh, compound idler is a 16, and that's the same for all the feeds. So uh, I'll grab my other 64 tooth gear. and That's not it there, is it? No, nope, that's a 52. All right, let's go over the lathe and I'll, I'll put this all on. All right, let's see if I can get in here without knocking knocking the camera off the mount. We'll slip this guy in. Sits right on that boss there. All right. And then we can put her bolt through. And that gets nut. Seems like that should have a washer, but I don't think I got one here. No, I don't think so. Not enough room on there. All right, and then 
We gotta put our, oh, sorry. That needs to get wiped off. I'm gonna grab my paper towel. A little bit grimy. I need to put dirt back into the machine. Again, again, wipe that off. Always try to keep everything as clean as I can. All right. Come on. Yeah, maybe it wants to start better the other direction. Must have been the way it was on the last time, I guess. Why? Come on. Ah, here we go with burrs again, I guess. All right, let me stop and see what's holding this up. All right, well, I really couldn't tell if there was a burr there or not, but I kind of put just a little bit of a chamfer on that outside edge. What's funny is this seemed to be the face that was stopping it, but oh yeah, see, look, it was right on now. Okay, so then we got this little keyed washer here. Or spacer. And this washer goes on, and then our nut, and these nuts, hopefully you can see that, but it kind of has a it has a machine flat on there on one side, so that's the side you always want to put down. That's kind of just meant to ride nicely on that washer. Put that down, kind of snug it just a little. Can't really do anything because it's still running free out there at the ends. Now we can kind of bring these guys all in. More or less a little bit. What we've got to do, we've got to account for a little bit of backlash in there. If you take some paper, let's see, maybe we should just leave a little space first. A little bit of paper there, just, this is just printer paper. I'm going to try doubling it over. And just kind of jam it down into the teeth. Very snugly there, and then we'll tighten that up, and then we'll roll the roll the gears apart and take that paper out of there. And that should give us just a little bit of backlash. Now, I don't know why I got so much room right there. That doesn't seem right. You know what, this is another one of those thin gears. Alright, well, I'll have to look and see if I got another 64 tooth gear. I just can't win today. Alright, so as luck has it, I do have another 64 tooth gear that, that seems to be the right thickness. Slide this guy over in here. I got my bolts pushing out the back side. <laughs> Alright. Now, back to the paper. Let's try just one layer of paper and see how that works. You, but that seems a little bit too tight. I'm 
double in the paper in half. It'd be kind of nice if you could have some like shim stock or something that would kind of just fit right in there that was gear shaped already. seems to work pretty good or nice and free now we'll slide this guy in I'll see it's meshing down inside there Okay, that seems to be working pretty good. Now, gonna swing her up to here. Oh, haha. <laughs> gonna have to slip this out a little bit. That door is hitting just a little bit. next time, huh? Yeah, man. There we go. Well, this doesn't seem quite right. I think I see what I've done wrong. This gear needs to be riding on the outside and driving against this here. So, so this little spacer needs to go on here first. Like that. And if we can get this guy to go back on. Come on. Oh. And of course, all that setting up with the gears we just did, that was all for nothing. We're going to have to loosen that up. Oops. Tighten up the banjo bolt here. And that'll lock everything all in position. All right. Now we're set up with a fine fee. Uh, just in case you guys wonder what I use on the gear train, this is a just heavy duty oil for for gears. Made by uh, Lucas, they make all kinds of stuff for like raising applications, but this is pretty good stuff here. It's really thick and it makes a really nice film whenever, whenever it's running. stuff is kind of about the consistency of honey.
it's honestly a little bit easier to do it with the lathe running. Let's see if we can make that happen, huh? You can see it just makes a nice little web between the gears. It stays on really nice. If you put something too thin on here, it just be gone. Nothing flat really. Kind of interesting. Remember they had a little display in the store that sort of showed this. You could just crank it by hand. All right, so we'll be set up and then we can start doing our boring. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fumble around with this gear train here. Uh, I wish I could have done a little bit easier job of it, but it looks like I'm missing some stuff. Anyway, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, why don't you click on the old horizontal mill. There'll be plenty more videos coming down the line. Lots more to see that if you haven't seen them yet already.